crochet technique, 6933, take one. Action. Hi, I'm Edie Ekman. I'm a knit and crochet designer. I learned to knit and crochet at about the same time. I really don't remember which one I learned first. But I started my professional life as a knitwear designer. And then I started doing crochet design as well. And actually now people probably know me better as a crochet designer than as a knit designer. I'm not going to waste my smiles yeah. yet. I don't have to smile yet. Nope. Right. Yeah. Frown away. Okay. <laughs> my process for designing something really varies. So a lot of times I'll take yarn and just start working with it, whether it's knitting or crochet. And somehow the stitches become fabric and then the fabric becomes something and I'm sort of thinking as I'm actually working through it. Because the difference, say, between knitting and crocheting and sewing is we're actually not only shaping our fabric as we do when we're sewing, but we're creating the fabric at the same time. Well, if you're left-handed, you're going to be reading. I'll say you'll, you'll read in the direction you're working. Because if you're left I teach a lot, but my goal always, whatever level of student I have, is to instill confidence that they can learn, but really understand how they're creating a fabric. And then that leaves open a world of possibilities to think through the next step or the problems. But I always encourage new knitters and crocheters and experienced knitters and crocheters, just relax and enjoy the process. All right, this is the wrap up. Anything that uses a small circumference in the round, you can create by using the magic loop technique. Good. Are we good? Yeah. Uh, Yay! Okay. Drinks! <laughs> <laughs>